How's it going guys? Retro Prime here. Uh, gonna do my Robot Wankers video for this month. And in the month of May, we're talking about Megatron, so we're calling it Megatron. Robot, robot wankers, a bunch of wankers who like robots. Yeah. Now, my collection up until recently was quite Autobot heavy. Um, I didn't have a lot of Decepticons. Something that Titans Return kind of sorted out and Combiner Wars to a certain degree. But, you know, I was lacking in the sort of key players of the Decepticon army. I still am in a lot of ways. But, Titans Return gave me um, Megatron. And the Titans Return Megatron is actually really good. If you don't have him or you haven't seen him or you're a bit like, oh, he turns into a plane and a tank, it's clearly meant to be Blitzwing. Get out of your mind and, and pick up the toy because I don't think you'll be disappointed. He is quite a smart toy. Um, I also have the Reveal the Shield. Legend size Megatron, which is just lovely. But I know that's a sort of personal favourite of Borders dude, so I'm quite sure he'll be doing that one. So I'll leave that to him. But the one I want to talk about is one that I've had since I started collecting because I was drawn into collecting mainly by the Transformers Prime TV series. And uh, I love the aesthetics of a lot of the characters in that. Ratchet looks awesome, Wheeljack looks awesome, Prime looks awesome, but Megatron looks fantastic. And in some regards, I like the Prime Megatron more than I do, like, looks wise, aesthetics, more than I do G1 uh, Megatron. So to that end, I shall talk about pretty much the only other Megatron I've got. <laughs> and it's master uh, Masterpiece. Right then, it's um, Cyberverse Commander Megatron. Now, I've got a different weapon with him. It comes normally with a sort of purple, it's a sword stroke gun but like barrel blast but I lost it years ago so he's got this which I think belongs to one of the movie prime cyberverse figures I'm not sure but yeah this is a fantastic looking Megatron Um, I'll try and get in the head there look at that head sculpt oh he's lovely There's v he's got great light piping all the way down Um, but it means that he's wearing a purple waistcoat to accommodate it which looks weird but for the back He's not a very good figure for the back, but nobody looks at the back of their toys, do they? They're for display or they're for play, they're no for fucking... I don't know, why would you look at the back of your toy? But he is just a fantastic representation of Megatron, and then for his size they fit a lot in. Um, like I said, that doesn't belong to him. But the mould, it's got... <laughs> the one thing I love is this gun. And it's for transformation, but the fact you can sort of display it either behind his arm or on the side, and it rotates to face whatever way you want it to face. It's just a nifty wee feature as far as I'm concerned. Yeah! So uh, I'll, I'll let you see his alt mode. Now there's his alt mode. It's almost... It looks like something for Stargate actually. I don't know what it's meant to be, but as an alt mode, especially in this class size, it really doesn't work. It just looks like you've folded his legs up, folded his arms up, and he's got clear, the worst case of visible head syndrome I've seen in my entire life. And it doesn't work. As a kid, you're going to be able to play with that. You're like, shh, doo -doo -doo. that's not going to be an issue. But as a collector, that's, I mean, it's just, you've just bust him in two and broke his legs. That's pretty shabby, to be honest. But it doesn't re retract from how awesome the robot mode is and how awesome a look it's got. It's just a piss poor attempt at making him look like a fucking Cybertronian jet or something. I don't know. Now, as of season three, Season th now is it season three? No, hang on. What happens? Oh no, it's no, it's not season three. Sorry, I was getting confused there. I couldn't remember if it was season three or just the Beast Hunters movie that that made Megatron go under Unicron's influence. Should I spoiler tag that? Oh fuck it. Basically, the movie. It's all right. It's they they had a movie that went along with a sort of third season that was kind of finishing it up and finishing the story, and it was all about Megatron being controlled by Unicron. And to that end, they gave us a Unicron repaint of the mold. Now I have got the weapon for this one. I ain't lost it. And basically when Unicron takes over Megatron's dead body in the movie, he reanimates it, as he does in the movie, to the 86 movie to some extent, but it, get, it gives him bigger spikes and bigger bigger arms and raw and makes him a bit monstrous. They've not really done anything other than just repaint the mold though. Um, but I love it. I love it. Still got the epic light piping. He's got the purple eyes now. You see? Because he's full of dark energy on. Yeah, again, hollow as fuck for the back. But the black plastic with the brown kind of really works. Gives him a very distinctive look. And, you know what? I like it. 
So that's pretty much all I can say. It's just a couple of wee Megatrons that I've had for the beginning of my collection that I still, still to this day, thoroughly enjoy getting off the shelf and um, playing with and posing and taking pictures due to the epic, epic light piping and due to the epic look of Omegatron. It's just, I love it. Um, these things go on eBay for about a tenner now. If you fancy dabbling in the Prime Transformers line, it's not a bad place to start. Um, but then when it comes to Prime, not a lot of places are. The worst figure I've got is Arachnid, or Black Arachnid, I'm not sure about how they packaged her. I still like that figure. It's shit, but I like it. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was I was about to go into a massive waffle about the Prime TV show there, and I stopped myself for your benefit. <laughs> um, I hope you liked my video. Please watch the other wankers, if they've done their videos before me, I shall link them in the description. Um, otherwise, stay tuned here for more pish about toys. Yeah, um, hope you're enjoying your week. Hope you're enjoying your life. Hope you enjoy my video. I'll see you later.